wait a minute. That's not scary. That's just the skeleton in the e-lab. It's all part of science. I love this time of the year. Hello, friends. Hey, we're out here at Blanford Nature Center, and we're ready to take a walk in a forest. A forest of fright. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stop scaring me. This is Paul, you're scaring me. So boys and girls, we've got an idea. Let's, Let's get, get out, out in the great outdoors. outdoors. Friends, I'm out here in a forest ecosystem on this beautiful day, right behind the school. So let's take a look at some of the things I see in the forest today. <laughs> oh my gosh, as I walk through the forest, I see something that gives me a little fright. Ah, what is it? It's a screech owl. Boys and girls, some people are afraid of owls because they come out at night, they're nocturnal. But did you know owls have a niche? They have a job, a role to do. They eat a lot of the mice that we have too many of. Thank you, Eastern Screech Owl. Oh my goodness, look at the snake wrapped around the tree branch. Some people are afraid of snakes, but snakes do a lot of good things for us. They eat a lot of the animals that we have too many of. Let's keep looking in this wonderful forest of fear. I mean, forest of fun. The Massasauga rattlesnake is Michigan's only venomous snake. It's a small, timid snake, and it rarely bites. It does humans a lot of good by eating a lot of rodents and other small animals that we have too many of. As I continue to look around in this forest of fear, I mean fun, look what I found! Ah! It's a, it's a human body model. It looks like someone that got trapped in the mud and couldn't get out. It's actually all science. Look at this. This is a model from the e-lab of a human body showing the digestive system, the respiratory circulatory system, and look, and there's the head. It's a human body model. It's not scary, it's science. Use your brains, see? There's your brain, use your brain, think about it. Not scary, it's science. Here's somebody that didn't make it out of the swap. Ha <laughs> ah! ha! Whoa, check this out, another skull. Friends, I know people use skulls during this time of year to try to scare you, but think about it. Your skull is very important. It protects your brain, and it gives your eyes a place to hang out, and it holds your teeth. Skulls are important. They're part of your body. Nice job, Skull. You don't scare me. It's all part of science. <laughs> ah! What is this? Woo! That kind of scared me. I wonder how this got out here. <laughs> Looking around in the forest, check this out. It's a scary frog. It's the skeletal system of a frog. Frogs are vertebrates. They have a backbone and they have bones, just like mammals do. Look at that skeleton of a frog. Does that scare you? It's all good science to me. One more look through the forest of fear. Oh, what is it? <laughs> That's a skeleton. Maybe it's someone who got lost. Or maybe it's just a plastic skeleton to teach us about science. Look at that skull. That skull holds your eyeballs, your teeth, and your brain. Look at the rib cage. There's a snake in the rib cage. The ribs on a human skull skeleton help protect the heart and the lungs. And look at those long bones, the longest bone in your body, the femur, that holds your leg muscles. Look at the human skeleton. What a great part of science, learning about the human body. Oh, it looks like that bat is moving. Check out this bat in this tree. It's moving around. People like to think that bats are scary, but did you know the bats of Michigan eat lots of insects like mosquitoes? Bats are good in an ecosystem. They eat lots of insects that we have too many of. Nice job, bat. I'm glad you're around. Just don't bite me. Ha! We have at least eight species of bats right here in Michigan, and they all eat insects. Lots and lots of insects. The big brown bat is one of the most common. 
It flies around at night because it's nocturnal. It also provides food for many animals like owls and raccoons. Wow, this forest has a lot of skulls in it. Look at this one. This is not a real skull, but this is a replica of the skull of a grizzly bear. Look at its teeth, long, sharp canine teeth. A lot of people think it's scary if it's a meat eater, but this animal ate both meat and plants. Do you see the flat molars? That tells me that even a grizzly bear is an omnivore. It eats both meat and plants. Not scary, it's science. Check it out in the forest of fear. Here's a spider. Wow, look at that. That's not a real spider. Did you know spiders are good to have in the great outdoors? Spiders make webs and eat a lot of animals that we have too many of. Thank you, spiders. You're not scary. I'm just going to respect you and leave you alone. Spiders are awesome. We have about 500 species of spiders in Michigan. These wolf spiders are some of the largest ones that we have. These hairy spiders are quite shy. If they do bite, they have venom in their bite, but it is not dangerous to humans. Spiders are good. They eat a lot of insects and other invertebrates that are pests. Also, many animals eat them. Good job, spiders. Two, three. <laughs> <laughs>